So in this video we're going to be learning how to use Socket.io. Socket.io is a library. This allows us to send data from the browser to the server and from the server to the browser in real time without having to do lots of HTTP requests. Socket.io uses WebSockets and what we're going to be doing is learning how to set it up. So the first thing we want to do is create a droplet on DigitalOcean. You can run Socket.io from your own computer, but if you're using Windows, the process would be slightly different if you're using Mac. So to make it more simple, we're going to run it on a DigitalOcean server. So we're going to create a new Ubuntu 1604 server. It's going to be the cheapest one. It doesn't matter where it is. And we're going to give it a host name of s.francismcnamie.com. So now that our droplet's been created, we want to log into our droplet and set up Node.js. So we're going to say ssh root at s.francismcnamie.com because that's our server. We're going to hit yes there, paste in the password, and we changed our password and now we're good to go. So the first thing we want to do is say apt get update, just to update our repositories. Then we want to install Node.js, so we want to say apt get install Node.js. And then finally, we want to install the node package manager. So we want to say apt get install npm. So now we want to create our first node app. So we're going to say npm in it. We're going to call our app socket and we're going to leave everything else blank. And now what we want to do is install socket IO. And as you can see here to install socket IO, we just copy and paste this line. Now we have Socket.io installed. So now what we want to do is actually set it up. So we're going to create a file called index.js. So what we're going to do is we're going to say var app equals require express. And then we have to put these two extra parentheses at the end of that. Express just makes it a lot easier to create our HTTP server. Then we want to create a variable called server and it's going to be equal to require HTTP.server. And then we pass our express app. And then here we want to save var io equals require socket.io and then here we want to pass our server. Next we want to say app.get so whenever someone tries to go to the root of our server we're going to run this function. We get a request and a response and what we're going to do is just send a file. So we're going to say response.send file index.html and now we're sending an index page back to the user. So next what we're going to do is we're going to say server.listen on a port 80 and then we're going to create our index page. So we're going to say nano index.html and we're going to say hello world. So now we're going to run that. We're going to say node.js index.js and we have an error because we didn't actually download the express package. So we're going to say npm install express and now if we run this we get no errors and our server's running. And now you can see we get hello world printed out. But as you can see, there's no network activity going on because we haven't created a socket yet. So what we want to do is we want to create our socket and to get rid of that error, we'll just change that to send file with a capital F. So what we'll do is we'll create an event listener. We'll say io.on to create an event listener and we'll listen to a connection. And then we will just run a function when that happens. We can get some data and we'll run the function in here. So in here, what we'll do is we'll just console.log connection. And because we've changed this to send file with a capital F, we have to give it its absolute file path, which is just slash root, because that's whereabouts on the server. I have this file stored. And if we run the server, you can see we get hello world, but we still get no network activity beyond the initial request because on the client, we haven't actually tried to create a socket. So on socket.io, we want to scroll up and we want to get the JavaScript client library. We want to get it from dist. We want to get this file here and we'll just copy that, close our server and we'll say wget and we'll just paste in that address and that's going to download the file for us. So now you're back on index.html, what we're going to do is we're going to create some script tags and the source is going to be socket.io.js and if I run that, we should actually get an error if I run it. You can see socket.io.js wasn't found. So what we're going to do is go back into our server and we'll change this actually to socket.io slash socket.io.js because this one will automatically be served by the server. We won't have to do anything. Otherwise, we'll have to create another path for that file. So if we run that, that's probably the quickest way to do it. Now you can see there's our socket.io.js file. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a socket. We're going to create more script tags and we're going to say var socket equals a new IO. And then now if we just save that and refresh the page when our server is running, now you can see our server is running, we have a socket going and we have a connection. Now I have two tabs open and we have two connections. And what we'll simply do is instead of just console log connection, what we'll do is we'll say data.send and then up here what we'll actually do is just create a global variable. And then what we'll do is we will increase that and we'll say count active sockets. 
And then here what we'll do is we'll say socket.onMessage. And here we'll just get the data. And we'll say document.write data. And we'll run our server. And now if I refresh, you can see it says one active sockets. Go again, we get two active sockets. So that's it for this video. That was a short introduction to sockets and socket.io. In later videos, we're going to be doing more advanced things. We're also going to be incorporating parts of this into our social network series. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.